Today we're going to learn how to fix a bug with the Unity Asset Server running on Windows. Um, this is a bug that has apparently existed for a long time with Unity Technologies Unity Asset Server on Windows. Um, it has not been fixed in the most current version of the Unity Asset Server, and it only affects Windows users. The, the bug is really annoying in that it doesn't give you many clues as to what's going on, why Unity Asset Server is not working. Um, but the good news is the fix is very simple, and once you've fixed it, you will never, ever have this problem again. The way you can tell that there's a problem is when you try to start your Asset Server. I'm going to start it with the Asset Server Control Panel. When you try to start it, it immediately fails. It doesn't even try to start it. It just says, could not start server, cannot start service, Unity Asset Server on computer. No matter what you do, you will not be able to start your server. It fails at the very beginning. Nothing will work. The reason it's failing is because when the Unity Asset Server installer program sets everything up, it creates a special account, a special user account on the machine that is used to run the Unity Asset Server. The bug is that for some reason Windows flags that account as needing to reset the password at the next login. So essentially when you're trying to start the server here it's trying to log in as that special account and Windows is saying you need to reset that password. The problem is of course you're not given any opportunity to do that. It's not telling you anything. It's not even giving you any details as to why it's failing. The other issue here is you won't be able to find that special account in the ordinary way, going under user accounts and looking at managing your accounts, you won't see that special account here. To find that special account, you need to go under administrative tools and go to computer management. And once you're in computer management, go to local users and groups, select the users folder, and here you will see the Unity Asset Server account. The reason it doesn't show up in the other window in the control panel, users, uh, is that this is not an account that you can log into Windows with. This is an account that's used to run the Unity Asset Server, as you can see by the description here. Now what you do is right-click on this account, go under Properties, and you'll see here this is the problem. The account has been flagged as user must change password at next login. The way you fix this is you turn this off, and the way you make sure that this never ever happens again is you select Password Never Expires. And that's it click apply and you have basically fixed this account fixed the unity asset server account so that it will never ever require a changing password and the password never expires and click OK and now when I close this and I go to start asset server click start and there it goes all is well problem solved it's probably a good idea to be proactive and if even if you've never had this problem with your Unity Asset Server, it's probably a good idea to just go in and proactively change that setting, because that way you will guarantee that this bug will never, ever happen to you. That's it. Have fun.